Aloha, it's Kiana Kayab Yab, and here are today's top Hawaii headlines from the editors at the Honolulu Star Advertiser. Also, mahalo to Long Drugs Hawaii for sponsoring the show. Head on over to your neighborhood Long Drugs for all your shopping needs. Football fans, the 2024 Football Fever Contest is here. Pick up a copy of the Star Advertiser and submit your picks by Friday to meet or beat the score of the winning panelist each week. Play each week for a chance to win $500. At the end of the season, one lucky grand prize winner will win a trip for two anywhere Alaska Airlines flies. Special thanks to our Football Fever sponsors, Hawaiian Telecom, Long's Drugs, and Alaska Airlines. Don't miss out on the action. Join the Football Fever Contest weekly for your chance to win. Craig Angelos is out as the University of Hawaii Athletics Director effective December 1, according to sources. The news first reported by Brett McMurphy on X comes six months after Angelos was hired to replace David Matlin. During his tenure, Angelos led UH's transition to the Mountain West Conference for all sports and secured charter flights for football, among other achievements. No reason for his dismissal has been given, and UH has scheduled a department-wide meeting today at 3 p.m. Hawaii has confirmed its first outbreak of H5N1 avian influenza in a Wahiwa flock at Susie's Duck Sanctuary. Officials say the virus poses low risk to humans, but anyone who touched ducks or geese at the November 2nd Mililani Pet Fair should monitor for flu-like symptoms or pink eye and contact their doctor if symptoms appear. The outbreak linked to wild bird transmission led to the euthanization of all sanctuary animals. State and federal agencies are boosting biosecurity and testing to prevent further spread, urging poultry owners to remain vigilant. Lucille Sill McDonald, a World War II Rosie the Riveter and Maui resident, passed away Friday, just weeks shy of her 99th birthday. McDonald, a congressional gold medal recipient, built warships as a welder during the war and was celebrated for her contributions to the community and military history. McDonald escaped the 2023 Lahaina fire, losing her home, but inspiring many with her resilience. Pacific Historic Parks and the Rosie the Riveter Trust honor her legacy as a symbol of strength and dedication. A $4 billion settlement for victims of the Lahaina fire, which killed 102 people and destroyed the town, is now tied up in court. The deal, designed to avoid prolonged legal battles, involves insurers seeking repayment from those they insured, a break from standard industry practices. Insurers argue the plan undermines their business model, while state officials, including Governor Josh Green, defend it as a cooperative solution aligned with Hawaii's culture. The state Supreme Court will hear arguments in December with victims anxiously awaiting resolution. Honolulu Mayor Rick Blandjardi announced Vahipana Storied Places, a $1 million public art project showcasing the history and culture of 11 iconic Oahu landmarks, including Hanauma Bay and Waimea Valley. Launching in February, 12 local artists will collaborate with communities to create immersive installations in various mediums, such as sculpture, poetry, and music. Funded by Bloomberg Philanthropy's Public Art Challenge, the initiative aims to inspire respect and deepen connections to Hawaii's cultural heritage for residents and visitors. Installations will roll out through 2028, paired with workshops and educational programs. For more on these stories and all the latest headlines, subscribe to the Honolulu Star Advertiser. Visit Hawaii's top source for breaking news online at StarAdvertiser.com and download the Star Advertiser mobile app. Mahalo, have a great day, and we'll see you back here tomorrow.